Saturday morning on the 23rd of, Jan of February, and we are headed to Fayetteville, Texas for our training camp. Uh, Kevin Ferdinand has uh, gathered together a group of about 12 coaches to work with us and we're going to go out and learn a little bit about cycling. What are you looking for, Matt? You know, we're all going to be forced to be in one area, in one city, sharing rooms and close quarters uh, for an entire weekend. I think it'll also be a good idea to see, you know, where we're at and what we need to work on and how we need to adjust our training plan coming months and uh, stuff to get to get even further prepared physically at least for the trip. Okay. <laughs> We've had bikes for about a week and a half and so everybody's been out on their bikes at least once and I think we've gotten the initial falling over, getting used to clipless pedals out of our systems. <laughs> everyone seems pretty excited. I think it's going to be uh, a much needed trip for everyone. Get everyone kind of away from school, relax together for the weekend. What I've heard, all the coaches that we're going to see this weekend are uh, more excited about it potentially than we are. I think that they can have a much better time by being prepared. So I was just absolutely thrilled to be able to help them to do that. It's just a huge pleasure uh, being able to coach and being able to be a part of something and kind of giving something back. You know, you kind of get to the point where you're like, I know a lot. You know, let's let's kind of help some people out. Let's kind of share some of this. A lot of the guys here are. Texas State champions, national champions, people that I have coached over the years, and they, they just come out and help. Don't be surprised if there's a pickup. There's something right there, a here. So it may go half a turn for us to fix it up. The first ride today is 41 miles. Uh, it may sound like an overwhelming obstacle, but believe me, we're going to ride it at a really easy pace. by far the longest bike ride ever for time. Um, yeah, I'm not really sore or anything, that's a good sign. Today I just want to keep up with everybody and get a good ride and make sure everything is like technique wise is good. So. Before the summer even starts, you know, I have a feeling that everybody's going to be twice as, three times, four times as powerful as they are right now. I think it kind of gives everyone a good idea what to expect for the summer to be ready for the uh, 70 days in a row, you know, 80 miles a day trek. 